You guys are awesome. I love it. I thank you guys yes. for hanging out. Another beautiful night in Los You're Angeles. Awesome, man. The party Bruce's starter. Lounge. Yeah. Party starters, thank you. Love you. Yes. Love you, buddy. Love thank you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Dude, love you. <laughs> Here we are. So tonight I'll be performing at Bruce's Prime Rib and Liquor Store. There's the liquor store. And here is Bruce's Lounge. Prime Rib Restaurant established 1962. <laughs> I got Dean Larratt and Kareem Matthews. What's up, guys? They, they both had good sets. They're out here celebrating their glory, taking notes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Back in the showroom. All right. Cool. You guys want to see what it looks like? Here, watch this. Sebastian Satina. What Hi. up, buddy? Right here. What's up, Darren? Thank you for coming to do my show at Bruce's in Santa Fe Springs. How long have you been doing comedy in rooms like this? this Dude, in rooms like this? Like all my career, so like over 25 years. When I first started, that's how. What's the trick to having a good show at a room like this? Make sure you get people, first of all. Yes. You gotta have people. Um, always get girls in the shows. Because you got girls there, guys are gonna show up. You can't do a show with all dudes. <laughs> yeah. It'll be like nine dudes all mad. <laughs> always gotta have. I noticed that not only are you a comedian, at these kind of shows you're also kind of like I call myself the party starter but you really are like a party like a, you're almost like a cruise ship director you're like a party director you know what I mean like you're right now these girls drove off and you're like alright love you happy birthday like you're you really make sure people feel good about the entire night well I'm a host on the stage but I'm also a host off the stage like I want them to feel special when they get here and when they sit down I mean it's a it's an experience from the beginning to the end yeah until like they leave we're still working right know? like yeah. even though the show's over I'm still working right now cause you know you got people in there and they st I gotta go back in hug them take pictures all that good shit and it works right it works people dude. love the vibe cause you know how many you've been doing my shows for yeah. over 20 years yeah and people it's are always good crowd. and they're mentioning all these places they're like hey we did Casa Latina we did name some of the rooms that you've done if, oh. if you can name off is it, like name a few Ooh. off the top of your head. Think you could Our do like places? Oh my god, Gal We started at the Galaxy. I don't know if I. I think I had you at the Galaxy, in LA. Then I went to Casa. Oh, Casa. Um, Casa de Salsa. Remember, we had some great shows yes. over there yep. in um, Claremont. Um, and then, oh my god, so many, dude. There's so many. We went, we, I did Acapulco's. Um, bicycle was, club bicycle casino yeah I mean there's so many restaurants I've done I mean it's just all the ones up and down the 10 freeway the 210 10, a lot of the Mexican restaurants that have like a lounge or a bar Pancho Villas man we've done remember we did a show in Blythe yes in Blythe we've California all over. dude let me tell you a Blythe. funny story about Blythe I go to Blythe and I remember I, I went to Subway to get a sandwich <laughs> and I had just been on TV like that week and this lowrider pulls by and they go damn man I thought that was you man and they go we saw your poster you're gonna be at the it was like a billiard room right it was like a, a yeah it was billiards on it yeah at the time it was it, a, it, yeah and the guy goes damn I never thought you were gonna be performing in Blythe California I thought you were too good to perform. <laughs> <laughs> the guy goes, I thought you were too good to perform in Blythe. I thought you were too good at home. Yeah. And so I acted, I was like, I, I remember I go, I go, dude, I'll never be too good to perform in Blythe. <laughs> Meanwhile, hey, are you still booking Blythe? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually hosting a concert there, like in a. That's hilarious. Oh, you hosted August. a concert at the Greek Theater. Yes. Oh, my God. That was, I did it twice, dude. Those will go down in the books for me as. Woo! Amazing. How do you how do you entertain a crowd at the Greek theater? Well, do you have people, any tips or tricks? People didn't think that I can do a big arena or a big venue like that with my style, which is interacting with the audience and making fun of them sometimes, whatever. And I did it. I did it in front of seven thousand people, and they loved it, and they got a kick out of it. They That's loved awesome. it. I mean, it was honestly, I have to say, if I had to pick one or two shows that are highlights of my show, of my whole career, those being at the Greek theater is one thing, but then. Being there and having the audience just the reaction so strong, like 
Dude, that's like how it was for me like, tonight at Bruce's Lounge. You killed, dude, you killed it. I really dude. did, though. I mean, just, man, I was kidding, for, but yeah. All 47 people loved you here, bro. <laughs> yeah, it sounded like 48. All 47 Mexicans loved you. They there, loved it, man. It was great. Yeah. Why you change gears and have a cigarette? Um, no, the girl that just drove off does, but she's gone. Say we're doing an interview again. <laughs> We get hit up here for Love it, man. Sebastian, thank you for taking your time out of hey, your busy you, night. Darren. Get we'll back in there and hug we'll some people. We'll be working another 25 years over. And let them know, man. All right, buddy. We'll All see right, you buddy. later. You got it. This is Bruce of Bruce's Lounge. How you guys doing? Hey, thank you so much for having comedy here and just the supporting the arts. And I just found out tonight that you're a musician. I had no idea. Yeah, I said I've been a musician all my life and stuff. And uh, ran into uh, this place. I grew up here and uh, just happened to be Bruce. And I, my name is just Bruce. And, uh, <laughs> so I've been here for about 12 years and stuff. I've taken over the lounge about 10 years ago. Uh, we brought in comedy, uh, Rudy Moreno. It was our first host and uh, went on and started something to do with Sebastian and so on, so on. And we're, we're like uh, nine years in. That's great. And, and Bruce has been around for 60 years. 60 years. It's a, wow. it's a little landmark here in the city of Norwalk in Santa Fe Springs. I love it. So I showed that side. That's where the comedy is. And this is... The lounge area. This is like the the, the restaurant area. And I believe there's like a is that a banquet room over there? Banquet room in the back, yes, as well. And what's great about a place like this, I feel like there's a ton of memories people have, right? Like oh. they come here and they're like, we have our graduation party everywhere, here. Everywhere, everywhere I go, if they know about, <clears throat> Bruce, they mention Bruce's, and they'll tell me a story about their mom and dad and they're coming over here and uh, just the memories that they had. It's it's uh, really cool. That's great. And and so during during the the shutdown, did you, were you we open or we did completely you? shut down? Um, uh, we, we just we had to completely shut down. It was the, the original owner. She's still here, and uh, it was uh, just difficult to try to keep up with all the um, yeah rules that they had during COVID. And it was just easier. When, and, uh, when did you shut down, and when did you reopen? We opened. Um, we shut down in March. Wow. March fifth. Uh, and, uh, wow, we, you shut down earlier. Yes, earlier than the we, we shut down yeah. right in the beginning, and uh, we reopened. Two months ago, the restaurant, and we just reopened the club uh, two weeks ago. Wow, the June fifteenth after yes, June fifteenth. June fifteenth. Wow, been, and it's great to see people. It's been great. People have been coming back, and yeah. everybody missed it over here. And we've been uh, the last three comedy nights that we've had. Uh, it's been absolutely great. Good turnout. And just see people smile again and laugh yes. again, and and, yes. and just yeah, just that interaction with just being able to talk to somebody in yeah. front of you. Yeah, it's so true because there was a time where people would, you know, you'd walk down the sidewalk and they cross the street because they were. And I, you know, I get it, but like, it's so nice to be with people again. And yeah, and uh, how great is this? So, so you're a musician, and you they, they told me that you, you've toured around the world. And yeah, I, I've, I've been a musician all my life. With it's a family band, and we've traveled all over the world. We lived in Asia, traveled in Asia for about 15 years. We were signed with the Hyatt International Hotel, so we just go to Singapore, Hong Kong, Thailand, Japan, wow. and back and forth. What type of music? Uh, we do R&B, dance music, and Latin music. Uh, Cumbia is a little bit of everything. We're a house band at Disneyland. We were there for 18 years. Wow. Uh, at Tomorrowland Terrace. So we know how to do a different variety of and, stuff. And what instruments do you play? I'm curious. I play guitar. That's great. You know, my other brother, my brother, the co-founder, Artie's bass guitar player, music director, and my cousin, uh, the keyboard player. My other brother retired. And Wow. But we're still playing. Nice. Well, I'm going to get back to the show. I just wanted to say thank you and, yes, and find and I, out a little thank history. Thank you, Derek, for coming out. Everybody loves you over here all the time. We're really happy you can be here. Thank you. See you in the next one. Thank you, Bruce. All right, guys. Can we go back there and see what it looks like? Can I go back there and see what that, that area looks like? All right. He's going to turn the lights on, guys. Because it looks kind of kind of spooky right now. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Wow. Oh, this is cool. And you got to have that. You got to have a fan. You got to have a big fan like that. <laughs> nice. All right. God bless America. Bruce, thank you so much. You're the man. Thank you. Oh, you got a piano right there. That's cool. That was fun. Thank you guys so much for coming out to the show. You guys pulled me aside and told me how much you enjoyed it. And I just want to say thank you. 
No, thank you, Darren. Like, we, you know, we've known you for such a long time. We love you, Darren. You know, and... You guys knew me when I had hair. <laughs> yes! Probably. <laughs> but you're still the same, Darren. And thank you, Mom. Thank you. We love your comedy. You know, you, you never fail to make us laugh. Thank you. And, you know, we, we've been to Bruce's other comedy shows and we followed you uh, Bruce is a it's, and it's thank you it's a different vibe here huh it's like yes, you can you can get really close to the comedians yes. like really connected like they're not like you right. know what I mean like usually at a club we might you might connect with the comedian but sometimes they do their set and then we're out the back door exactly. in the green room and right. here it's like you know you, you it's see like a family. It, it's, it's, it's like a family vibe here. right yeah and, and it's super intimate because like you said uh, you know when you go to the comedy store you know or other venues you know the, com the comedians are like one and done so they're yeah. like, like they're out the back door, but right here, you know, you get to have like a personal experience with the comedians. You get to know their background. You get to know their lifestyles. I, I had a blast it, up there. I, I did some new jokes, man. That it's that, that that kicked off. Like, I did not know how the new jokes are going to what do, and they did right. great. And I was so happy. But you have your right. supporters that Thank you. are always going to love you and support yeah. right. you. And, and, I, and no matter where you go, Darren, you're gonna get your your followers. Yeah, you're gonna get. I was your, surprised your, when I walked in and how many people knew my name and were like, "Hey, I saw you here. I saw you there." It's, yes. It made me. I brought a buddy. He'd never been here, and he's like, "Everyone knows you here." And I'm like, right. I, I, "It's felt great." You know. Yes. Yeah. And you probably wondered why I, I pinched your arm and I sat <laughs> and I walked away and I left you in mystery, but. <laughs> It was awesome. No, and, and it's uh, it, it's all about the uh, intimacy. And doesn't it feel great to like laugh together? Like after being yes. in the shutdown for so yes. long, it's like yes. oh, that that is like the plus. That's you know. like the cherry on top of everything that's going on right now. And with comedy, yes, and supporting comedians, absolutely, and and comedians all over the place from LA County, San Bernardino County, Orange County, Riverside. You know, support your comedians because they're here for you. Yes. They're here to laugh. And with everything, to... exactly, with everything that's going on, we have to support each other, love each other, and right. and just keep it going. You know, keep it going, that, man. And how long yes. have you guys? How long have you guys known each other? Oh man, we've been together for twenty-seven years. That's the beauty of it, man. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah, and we've known so... you for. Almost the same time. Yeah, because right? I moved to Los Angeles in '95, right. and you probably yeah. saw me. I think a, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. '96 back then. When so I met you. It was such a pleasure. Right? Oh, and thank I, you. I, and I've, I've uh, known you through other comedians as well. You know, at the Comedy Store, the Laugh Factory, mm -hmm. and you never fail to like be yourself. That's right. And Even now, I got the flashlight. <laughs> I got the new batteries, man. The new you batteries. Know, new I love yeah. it. The, the Snoop Dogg. I know. Yes. By way, that's you what we you meant tonight. Oh, that's we right. right. The Diggle Double G. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> we we love everything about you, Darren. And, yes. and you know what? You're genuine. You, you keep it real with the people. You keep it real with your fans. And, and you, know you know what? Thank what? you. That, that's what makes you who you are. And that that's what's going to catapult you to the next level of being a true comedian. Heck yes. Oh. You know what I mean? like that's Thank you. And when you're really married, like if you're white, if, you know, whatever radio station you're listening to, if your wife love comes, loves country music. Uh, loves country loves music. Loves country music. <laughs> Sorry, I've, I've had a few too many drinks. <laughs> yeah. Then what you listen to is country music. Yeah. Right, you remember that? Oh, you, oh my, oh yeah, yeah, my bit about my wife listens to country, yeah. so that means we I'm listen sorry. to country. I'm gonna see right. if I can turn this camera around. I Boom, I can. Look at this right there. I know what you're yes. getting at. So I, I go, I go, my lips. wife listens to country music, so that means we listen to country music. Exactly. In the car, yeah. Yeah, that's right. I remember that joke. I'm a yeah. little bit buzzed, okay. but. She gave me the keys to her heart. You yes. see, my duplicates, Woo. right? Or yes. uh, all oh, yeah. them fishes in the ocean. Why'd I marry a crab? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are awesome. I love it. I thank you guys yes. for hanging out. Another love beautiful it. night in You're Los awesome, Angeles. The party Bruce's started. Lounge. Yeah. You thank you. Love you. Yes. Love, love you, buddy. Love thank you. you. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Dude, love you. <laughs>